Thank god I keep old save states, because I just recorded two whole segments and turned out that it didn't get my voice at all, so now I have to redo them. Anyway, uh, changes to my team uh, slightly. I have a metal coat on Venonat, Mystic Water on Poliwhirl, and Aisha now has this as a move set. I got an accidental accidental level up while trying to catch stuff, learned fake tears. Dream Eater I got from uh, Viridian City Move Tutor. I think it works all right, so whatever. Let's just go forth. Running into deli birds, which are supposed to be rare. It took me like 20 minutes to find one when I was trying to catch everything in here, and now I'm just going to be running into them all the time. It's kind of stupid. So, anyways. I had stuff to complain about in this segment, but then I found out that the next one is extremely boring, so I probably shouldn't talk about all of it in this one. So I'll talk about just some of it. Uh, basically, one of the pro- well, just like this, the past weekend was pissing me off because all this stupid crap kept happening. But, um, the first thing that I hated was finding out that I can't get my computer fixed soon. It was supposed to be happening, like, this week or so. And nope, it's not. We had the money, but I guess now we don't or something. I don't even know. It, it, whatever it is, it pisses me off because I'm sick of using this one. I know people are getting really, really impatient for me to, like, actually do stuff other than this. And I want the other one back. Because this one is way too much of a piece of shit to actually use properly. Plus it just got another stripe on the screen. I've explained before how the screen is just covered in these stupid stripes. Um, I don't know, I, I think there's about 30 of them. I try counting them, sometimes they disappear. Most of them are on the right side of the screen, a lot of them are solid, some of them are like semi-transparent, and uh, two of them appeared on the left a while ago, and they're like marquees, they just keep sort of scrolling up or down, and instead of being like one solid line. And now a third one of those appeared. The right side of the screen has this barely noticeable sort of static equality to it that worries me that it's going to become something much worse. This thing's pretty much a ticking time bomb. I don't expect it to last very much longer. So I need to get rid of it as soon as I can. But every time I think it's going to be pretty soon, nope, more delays. At this rate I'll be lucky to have it fixed by Christmas. Like, I, I, when I say that, I, like, really mean I hope it will be by then, but it probably won't. Because, like, everybody else takes priority over me. Okay, Meowth is holding something. Okay, let's just get out of here. Yeah, this person, uh, thinks that you're a rapist, which is pretty hilarious seeing as how I'm the female character and the cave isn't dark. So she's saying don't do anything funny in the dark when it isn't. I don't know why it isn't. Guess they didn't want you to have to drag a flash user with you, but it's not that big of a deal. So anyway, the other thing that was pissing me off is, uh, Brawl isn't working now. If you remember back when that game was first released, there were a bunch of people having problems getting the Wii to read it because, like, it's a dual layer disc or something, and, like, if your lens is slightly lacking, then it doesn't work well. I mean, then it won't read it. And, um, I actually had mine fixed shortly before. Well, no, that's not a good way to put it. I've already went through this story be once before, but, uh... Like, a, 
I don't even know how long ago it was, maybe two years ago, Jeremy stuck two games at once into the Wii and ruined it. And we had to send it in for repairs, and then they repaired it, and I got Brawl, like, while it was still broken. And so then when I got it back, I was able to play it, and it was fine. A month or two ago... Amnesia, I'm gonna get rid of Smog for that. A month or two ago, um, I noticed the game was reading a lot slower than it usually was. But it was still working, and then, like, yesterday it finally crapped out. It won't read at all. So that's kind of pissing me off. So now we're probably going to have to send in the Wii again, because it doesn't seem to be a problem with the disc. The disc is, like, completely unscratched. Okay, are we going to be able to get out of this cave pretty soon? Oh, god damn it. Poison would have finished it off. Oh. I need Venonat to get the experience so it can evolve. Alright, whatever. Probably gonna use Synthesis again. Yeah. Now it's not going to, though. Yeah. Okay. That was cool. Damn it. Oh well, this way Venonat will get all the experience out of it, I guess. Whatever. So anyway, I'll sh I should be reaching, uh, Lavender very soon. And now would be a good, um, good a time as any to explain the nicknames that I thought of but didn't use. For Sunflora, the obvious names would be something flower-related, like Daisy, Pansy, Violet, that sort of thing. Maybe even just Sunny, that's pretty generic, but <clears throat> it, it could work. But no, I, I went for a different one on that, because I didn't want to be quite as generic. For um, Venonat, or soon to be Venomoth, the only thing I could think of at first was Mothra. I was struggling to think of something better, and eventually I did come up with one. I'm not saying any of these now, so you can see them when I actually get to the name writer. Why is Razor Leaf missing so much? Del Caddy really sucks. Come on. Anyway, um... Poliwhirl was pretty easy to figure out. I never really had any other ideas for that one than the one that I picked. The worst by far was Slugma, because I was really struggling to think of something other than Gary, like Spongebob Snail. I could not think of a better name. And, like, I seriously stayed up at night for, like, hours thinking of this. It's such a minor thing, it shouldn't be taking up any of my time. But it was. I could not think of a good name for that thing. And finally I did. Okay, we should be able to get out of here. There's nothing to the left. I checked before. There's nothing to the left. Get out of here. One step away from the exit, and we can't get out. Wow. Okay, those trainers I'll fight next time. This grass patch here is disturbing, because this is still Route 10. I don't know why there's more grass, but whatever. There is. So, Name Raider House. There we go. Sunflower, you can be first. I'm going with... Molly. It's kind of unrelated. It Basically, it rhymes with jolly, and it's really happy-looking, and I just kind of like that name anyway. Slugma, the name that I finally decided on, was Bogey, named after the character from Kid Rad, which isn't a slug and has nothing to do with slugs, but I think that the name just sort of suits it. Venonat is going to be called Luna. A lo uh, there is a kind of moth that's a Luna moth, and it's like a pretty green one. And also, Luna is like my favorite character in Harry Potter, which is unrelated, but whatever. And Poliwhirl. The weirdest name, because it isn't a normal name. 
someone else suggested this one, but I had already thought of it first, is Hypnotoad. Because the Hypnotoad is awesome, and it's too relevant to not use. That, and I tend to always have a Futurama character name on my team. If I was going to go with Gligar, I was going to call it Pazuzu. But I'm not going to be going with Gligar now. And I have time for, like, one battle now, so I might as well do it. It's not going to be a very interesting one. I'm surprised Confusion did that much, though. Confusion's been letting me down a lot lately. So anyway, next segment is just going to be, um... Beating the rest of the trainers up here, and also down on Silence Bridge, as much of that as I can reach. Pokemon Tower is inaccessible. The rest of the houses have nothing interesting in them. So, I don't know how much progress I'll be making in that one. See you next time.